and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for the Inferno of Power. That's right, I'm calling this deck the Inferno of Power because we have a Jaya's Immolating Inferno. That art is awesome. And Apex of Power deck. Okay, so this is Throwback Thursday. If you don't know about Throwback Thursday, this is where I take rares and mythics that are rotating out, such as those two, um, and play them and build a deck around them and play them before they rotate out. We've had just a whole lot of really fun uh, Throwback Thursday decks. If you're watching this on YouTube, definitely recommend checking out the playlist that has them all. We just got done with a Crucible of Worlds Wayward Sword Tooth deck. That was a lot of fun. Um, and later on, the fourth deck here, we're going to be going Liliana's Contract and Arcane Adaptation. But uh, let's let's take a look at uh, this deck. So in the YouTube comments, y'all are letting me know like what decks you want to see, like what rares and mythics you want me to, to build around. And a couple of different people said Apex of Power. So I was looking at this card, so I'm like, all right, we're going to build an Ape Apex of Power deck. How are we going to do it? So it's 10 mana, which that's a lot of mana. So 10 mana, uh, exile the top seven cards of your library until end of turn. You may cast non-land cards exiled this way, so you don't even get lands. All right, so but we can cast the spells, and we it's not even like we get to cast them for free. Like We also have to pay the mana to cast the cards. Um, but if the spell was cast from your hand, you can add 10 mana of any one color. So you, you can basically cast it for, for free, but you only get the mana of one color. So that, that made me think, well, I kind of want to just stay mono red then if we're just if we're just only get the mana of one color. And in order to get to 10, the card that I wanted to play was Jaya Ballard. Because I was like, well, Jaya Ballard, I know that, that adds three mana. That ramps us up quite a bit um, as far as mana goes for instants and sorceries. So that can help get us to Apex of Power. So that's so that was like the first step. I was like, all right, well, we're going to do Jaya Ballard, Apex of Power. And then I was also like, well, if we're going to be ramping up for a lot of mana there, we might as well play Jaya's Immolating Inferno also, so we can have some other uh, big instants and sorceries to ramp up to with this Jaya Ballard. But then I was like, well, what are we really going to build around that? And I was thinking, well, we just played the Chandra Tribal uh, on Monday that was a whole lot of fun and did did very well and, and ramped pretty well, and it's mono red. And so I was like, well, I guess I'm just going to keep, I'm just going to play this same shell. So I uh, got rid of the three mana Chandra, but this novice Pyromancer was really important for us for adding that, that mana, like that minus one ramping for us. And so I feel like that could be really important in this deck as well. Uh, going to keep the regulators in here also to help to help uh, rummage through our deck. And, and uh, you know, we have 26 lands, so, you know, like, if we get rid of extra lands to find spells or get rid of spells to hit our land drops. So, you know, the regulator will help us do that. Plus, uh, that first ability with the Novice Pyromancer can can make the Novice Pyromancer also add three mana. So, yeah, we're ramping with those. Um, and so, you know, we're kind of doing the same thing with the Chandra Tribal, but now our top end, we got Jaya Ballard getting us to Apex of Power and Jaya's Immolating Inferno. And then since I was going to be playing for Jaya Ballard, but I was like, well, it is Throwback Thursday. Let's get another spicy one in there. So I threw in an, a Sunbird's Invocation here. Because if we have Sunbird's Invocation in play, and then we play, you know, like like either these six drops, we play a six drop, then we get to look at the top six cards of our library, and we can reveal anything that costs six or less. Can you imagine having Sunbird's Invocation in play? And then casting Apex of Power, <laughs> you just get to look at the top 10 cards, cast anything. Uh, it's going to be great. So hopefully we get to do that. Hopefully we get to have some fun here. Um, as far as Bedeck, if you don't understand, Bedeck in the sideboard is to kill a Danto Vanguard because Mono Red can't deal with the Danto Vanguard otherwise. So that's so this is against this is our anti-vampire tool, anti Danto Vanguard card. But yeah, let's let's give this a try. Let's see if we can do some crazy stuff here. If we cast Apex of Power once, I'll be happy. If we don't, I'll be sad. But hopefully we get to cast Apex of Power at least once with the Inferno of Power. All right, let's play a league. See how many wins we can get before we get two losses. Yeah, Red Finale doesn't really... Yeah, I mean... Basically, I... I don't think we really need Red Finale with the other big stuff. We already, I think we already have like a really good top end already and don't really need the Red Finale. Oh, I have, um, I have some Fight with Fires in here also where, you know, like if we're adding a lot of mana with Jaya, we can kick Fight with Fire to do a whole lot of damage everywhere. So put those in. 
Fight with Fire is also just good with the add three mana ability. Just immediately, like playing Jaya, then adding mana, then playing Fight with Fire. All right, love it. So we should probably be discarding Apex of Power and looking for a ramp card first. Probably. Or, you know, we can just keep it and, you know, discard like these removal spells. We do have the four Blood Sun in the sideboard. So that'll help out against the Field of the Dead deck. That's a good card. Very good hand for our opponent. We're just, you know, Rejuvenator hitting Field of the Dead and then Circuitous Route. Oh, no lands though? That could be good for me. No land. Land for us? All right, here we go. We get Chandra. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. So I could minus and loot. I think I'm just going to tick up, though. So we can add, we can have six mana next turn. Which means we're four mana away. I guess we, we can have seven mana. If we draw a land, it could be eight mana. Which means we'd only be two away from Apex of Power. Oh. Well, I wasn't expecting that. Let's try this. Hmm. So do I want to cast Immolating Inferno to kill Teferi? Yeah, I probably do. Yeah, we got to kill Teferi. I'm getting the hang of this magic thing. Here, have some That's of that magic. four, eight... Stop. So yeah, we have eight mana, so we can do this for six. Kill Teferi, and I guess we kill a 2-2, and then just do six to them. Now what? Fortunately, you have to do different targets. You can't just do six upstairs, six upstairs, six upstairs. But yeah, there we go. We already got the Inferno part. No, so my opponent didn't bounce the regulator because then they knew the Teferi would die to the Chandra minus. They didn't want the they didn't want the Teferi to die to the Chandra minus. Uh, gross. Trust me, you'll thank me later. I've got it. So now we have nine mana. Okay, so reach into that ley line thing. <laughs> I'm getting the hang of this magic thing. We can kick this. All right, you take five damage. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. of time it's likely our novice pyromancer dies here yep but still she did some good work for us what's up Sothian yeah we were one mana short of apex of power we were almost had it we were so close we just got to do that because you got to kill Teferi so they can't end step 
you know, otherwise they could end step scape shift and then and then we die. No. My poor Chandra. I wish I could have helped more. Ooh, okay, okay. Um Can't kill his crisis though. Oh, I don't have the mana for Flame Sweep? I thought I had one more mana than I did. I thought I thought after playing it I'd have three mana and I could just Flame Sweep here. No, they attacked with Krasis. Ugh. I was hoping they would just attack with the three 2-2s two and we could kill one of them and untap with Chandra. for me to handle. Yeah, I don't I don't know why it says that. All right. Well, we were one mana away. I can't kill 99s nine and 88s. Eight eight in my mono red deck. We are one mana away from Apex of Power. Or untapping with Chandra there. They didn't kill Chandra. So close. All right, so we got to get Blood Suns in here. Get rid of these Lava Coils. Ugin can, Ugin can kill Krasis. Ooh, Fry's good. Yeah, Fry's just an upgrade on Chandra's Triumph. We're gonna take out the invocation because of Teferi bouncing it. Yeah, like we spend six mana to play it, they bounce it by Teferi. That's kind of rough. Hmm. Wanted to mulligan to see if we find Blood Sun. But we'll keep this one. Come on, deck, we need one more land. Need another land, deck. Twenty six land deck failing me. Bleh. 
Need to draw a land or a land or a blood sun. That is not a land or a blood sun. At least they have a dead card in their deck. Yay. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. Okay, we're getting there. Yeah, they, they usually have this card in the sideboard for the red decks, but it doesn't really matter against our deck. Oh, come on. That card does matter though. One day I'll come back even stronger. Well, that hurts. Yeah, I mean I think it matters with red decks with Ferocid on him now in play yeah because if they have ferocity like if they have ferocity on the scape shift kills you anyway but they so like you know it doesn't obviously it doesn't help whenever ferocity in play but there's a lot of times whenever there's no ferocity on the battlefield and if there's no ferocity on the battlefield then a johnny's welcome can can help you out Well, I tried about all that I could. Um, you know, I'm, I'm mulliganed, looking for Blood Sun. One well, of those four, we didn't find it. We couldn't hit our fourth land drop. So yeah, now we have to hit one of our four flame sweeps. Or... Game's over. <laughs> Alright, Apex Power. Not getting it. So we were one mana short for Apex of Power in that match. Close, but one mana short. All right, hopefully we get it this time. I'll definitely be unfortunate if we play through a league and you know, we just lose a couple matches and we don't get to actually cast Apex of Power. So, come on opponent, be control, be really slow. Let us cast this 10 drop. Espeda with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for that support, Espeda. And that's our first sub goal of the day. That gets some extra hype boats there. All right, gonna mark that down towards our next 12 hour streams. The sub goals are each time we hit 20 total, you know, adding up through different days. So like if we hit one sub goal a day, it'd be 20 days. Uh, I do a 12 hour stream and that's our third. But of course some days we could hit more and then it would go faster. All right, so night down. Looks like our opponent's pretty dire. Is this mono black vamps? Ooh, mono black aggro. Mono black aggro. Well, good thing they printed a six toughness creature for three mana. That's that's a card that red decks can really deal with pretty easily. There's definitely nothing wrong with six toughness over here. 
We're doing we're doing just fine. Having no troubles at all over here. Seems like they need everything to be six toughness and loyalty. Like the, the new three mana walkers both tick up to six loyalty. That thing, six toughness. Like how... How are red decks supposed to kill anything? How does anything die anymore? Nothing can die. Nobody wants their creatures to die anymore, so we gotta give them or a Planeswalker, so we gotta give them just a ton of toughness and loyalty. Yeah, I do Reptile. Yep, that's what I do at the, the end of the leagues. If you see any any of like the donation decks that I play, I talk about at the end of the league uh um you know, tips like tips to improve it and always answer all the questions and everything there. Maybe I don't want Flame Sweep. Get extra coils in here. Just try to one for one everything. Mountain Wind Cat. You're welcome. Five months. Thanks for all the content. You're, you're welcome, Mountain Wind Cat. Thanks for that continued support. Five awesome months. Sub number 11 on the day. Working towards that second sub goal. Well, unfortunately, we got paired against another aggro deck here. This hasn't, hasn't been working out too well for us here. I just want to cast Apex of Power once. Where's the slow deck? <laughs> there you go. No problem. Fire can't solve. I just hope no... As long as they don't have Rotting Regisaur, we should be okay. But that thing is just too big. Yeah, so far I'm feeling pretty good except for against Rotting Regisaur. So I can either cast Flame Sweep or can discard a Jaya here to draw a card. That's not true. We don't. We have ramp and drawing. Our deck doesn't lack ramp or drawing. This thing draws. This thing ramp ramps and draws. We have we have ramp and drawing. Oh come on! Turn three again. The issue is I can't kill seven sixes. That's the issue. Why do we print a 7 6? Get out of here. No more 7 6s. Cool, not a 7-6. Good. And we exiled the 7-6 also, so we're good there. Are you sure you're ready to face me? Think fast. 
Jaya's everywhere. Jaya's everywhere. What do you think of Loyal Beast? Play one man a, a turn to get a 1-1 one, one human, and then on turn three you get a 5-5 five, five beast. Right, can only attack if you own a 1-1. One, one. I've had worse. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what that card does. So I, I don't know. Anyway, let's... Uh. I know what I'm doing. Hmm. Well... We get rid of this taskmaster. Let's see what else we got. I mean, I do need two more land drops for Apex of Power. But we got to find Apex of Power also. No, we'll keep it. We may discard this land to Jaya Regulator. We'll keep it to discard. Golgari Crucible was a lot of fun. That's my kind of deck. We're just manipulating our mana base the whole time. Try that again. At least we've kicked Fight with Fire a couple of times. I guess I could wait a turn before... I guess I could wait a turn before Fight with Firing. Never know, that though. They could just have, like, a random duress. And if, and if I do wait a turn and they have a duress, then, that, then this thing has five toughness. So four damage here, one damage there, five damage there. Oh, maybe I should have done five damage to the aerialist. What if they just had instant speed life gain? Just, you know, like moment of craving or something. Just blow me out. The moment of craving. Yeah, I probably should have done five to the... Because it's not like doing four or five to them like that matters. We're so close. We're one mana short. Okay, we're one mana short. We got the card. We got to draw a land this next turn. Because then Jaya dies. Come on, deck. Give me a mountain. Give me a mountain. Because, yeah, if we don't cast it next turn, then Jaya's dead, and then then we're forever away from the Apex of Power. Come on, one land. Uh, we, we don't reliably get to 10 without Jaya, really. Come on, Duck, we need to land. Oh, man, this is going to be awesome. Come on, Duck. Land. Come on, then. No. Ugh. Darn. Well, we have a a slight chance. So like I'm going to play Chandra, I'm going to kill the Cavalier of Night. And so Chandra's going to stay at one loyalty.
And so maybe... So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get rid of the Cavalier Knight, and then maybe they attack Chandra. Maybe they're more scared of Chandra than Jaya. Get out of my way. I'm burning up here. Oh yeah, I got this regulator out. Oh yeah, they're definitely killing Chandra, right? That's fine. No! No! You aren't half bad. Ugh, we had the land coming too. No. Dream is over. The dream is over. Is it just me? <laughs> no pressure. All of our Jayas are gone. They're all gone. They're all in the graveyard. We're not casting that thing anymore. Uh, I don't really have an opinion on the adventure mechanic right now. I, I still don't completely understand it or, or anything. It was explained to me yesterday, but I haven't really... Yeah, you know, I haven't played with it yet or really considered it's how it plays out and everything, so I don't really have an, an opinion on it right now. Recklessness and fear are the six my I didn't have the mana to minus six and copy and exile both things with, with Chandra. I only had six mana and it costs you had to pay the extra one to copy it with regulator and I didn't have the extra one. Okay, well, we have good news. We've stabilized. We got seven lands. So if Ugin can hit like three more land drops and we draw our other Apex of Power, maybe this isn't over yet. Maybe we can get Apex of Power still. Truth lies beyond. Let's play it. Alright, so that's eight mana. Yeah, that's true. We could draw four mana Chandra to ramp us. That is true. Kill my Ugin. Splash. I do like that Lava Coil animation. It's a good splash. No, I need that thing to die. Secrets manifest before you. Yeah, we're gonna be winning this anyway. Let's just play the land. Play like a, a wrath. Kill kill all creatures. There you go. 
All right, well, that's still a pretty cool way to win. We didn't get the power, but we got the Inferno. Inferno! All right. We survived some seven sixes. We did it. Can we do it for another game? Unlikely, but we're going to try. I should probably be playing this third Chandra. The Chandra was really good. <laughs> Get back into the stream and hear the battle cry. Inferno! <laughs> yeah, Inferno definitely deserves a cooler animation. All right, flame sweep out, Chandra in. Yeah, I went with I went with the. Yeah, we could play treasure map. I definitely consider that instead of the regulator, but I went with the regulator. Um. Because I've just been I've been pretty impressed with that card, just like the, the rummaging it does through the deck. But treasure map does. You know, like the treasures from treasure map could help out instead. This hand's fine. Ar Arhenya? Or Arhenya. Thank you so much for the support. I appreciate that. Definitely get some hype boats for our new sub there. All right, so this hand is kind of fine. Like we have 26 land, so I'm, I'm, I think that we can hit land drops is what I want to say. I think we can hit land drops, but the thing that I'm worried about is if they have turn three seven six, we're gonna lose. Howard, does like anything in my deck be turn three seven six? Probably not. If they don't have turn three seven six, I'm fine. I like I think that this can can be just fine. I don't know, we'll just mulligan. Okay. Alright, so we got land drops. This time. Now we need to find our spells. How? You want regulator to not cost one to activate? It would be so broken then. It was just free to activate? It's already good enough. Hey, thanks, Croft. Santa Crop, gifting out five subscribers as well. So, welcome to our new subs: Edrium, Stradivarius, Lissandra, El H H I was gonna say Hidalgo, but it's Higado, El Higado, because of that movie H Hidalgo. Um, and uh, Mart, we're gonna go with Mart. Mart, Martij. Words are difficult. But yeah, welcome to the channel, everybody. Oh, well, thanks. Thanks, Crop. You got gifted a sub earlier, so you're paying it forward. Well, that's really nice of you. Glad you're enjoying the stream. Hey, Sarah Angel. No, don't have turn three, seven, six. Oh, the slowest of rolls. It's like the only thing I'm scared of is turn three seven six. All right, regulator's good. Help us dig. Yeah, every every game it's been turn three seven six. Every game. Ugh. It's like. All right, let's go through the 60 cards. What's what's the one card that's, that's good? What's, like, the only card that uh, your opponent can't beat? Oh, this card? All right, we'll give it to you every single game. I, mean, 
and I can't. I, what am I supposed to do here? Ugh. Well, that's really disappointing. All right, so we found out the deck can't beat a six toughness creature. I feel like we should probably play one more match. We'll just play like a a regular traditional play match. We gotta try to cast this this apex of power one more time. Hopefully, we don't face seven sixes on turn one. Yep, then it's time for Naya Hero. It's harder to hit land drops on the play. There we go. That's better. While the regulator has been pretty good, I'm not. I'm not uh, certain that it would like uh, the treasure map would have been worse. Um, I can definitely see treasure map being better. It's it's really close though. I can kind of see either one. Yeah, we're playing against another aggro deck. And I... I unfortunately got rid of the flame sweep. Because I wanted to curve Chandra into Chandra. But this looks like a matchup where flame sweep would have been really nice. This is this is kind of risky here. This means that a lord kills my Chandra, but kind of no matter what I do, a lord kills my Chandra. the The only way it doesn't is if I would have minus one for mana and then shock. Um, if I just tick up, we have six loyalty, but a lord they have the two three mana, the two three power creatures. So there's another, I guess, anthem effect is the more appropriate thing. So yeah, if they have another favorable wins or some kind of anthem, then they kill my Chandra. So obviously they have that. I wish you could have helped more. Every decision I make just doesn't 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 uh doesn't get me there. No, we have we have Jaya's Immolating Inferno and Apex of Power. That's what our deck's built around. That's why I called it the Inferno of Power. Fortunately, we didn't get to play a slow enough deck to cast a 10 mana spell. It's tough casting 10 mana spells. But we didn't get to do it here. If 
you want some, prepare yourself. All right, we cannot have them have, they can't have another Anthem effect. So yeah, if I do the, the Chandra minus, we kill the three creatures, but then their Lord stays alive, and then I'm not killing that Lord. I was going for the uh, kill that thing, and then take a hit, and then kill everything the next turn with Chandra minus. Didn't work out, though. All right, let's get this other Flame Sweep. Fries, Coils, Bedecks. We have a lot of stuff here. This one could be fine for us. I have just like infinite removal spells that kill their creatures. I mean, that's weird. That's weird. Look at these things. I mean, I really should be boarding out Apex of Power here. But we're playing a just for fun match. We'll take out one. <laughs> we'll keep the others. All right, maybe not the deck. As soon as you say you don't have an anthem, they're guaranteed their deck is guaranteed to have an anthem. Yeah, maybe it is. Oh, that's what that is? That's a 30 second warning? I didn't know what that was. I know, that's all I want to do is cast the Apex of Power. We just want to get paired against the control deck. So we could cast our 10 mana spell. Guild Globe doesn't ramp. But yeah, no, I... I tried Regulator instead of Treasure Map. Um, but I could see Treasure Map being the card. good start we still got five cards though I got five cards so we're still even after that three for one we're still even hey uh, I'm Chandra nice to meet you all right can I get I need the Chandra back shouldn't have discarded that Chandra we do it? Can we do it? Or 
Are we gonna do it? Can we do it? I sure hope you can't handle the heat. Whoosh! Up in flames. Of course our deck is really slow. We're we're trying to play a ten mana card. Ben, Ben, try refreshing your stream, and then we're gonna do it. Oh my gosh, we are doing it. Keep making that face, and I'll send your eyebrows off. Oh, this is going to be good. Oh my gosh, we're gonna do it. Okay. All right, let's see how this works. Yeah, they better not have a negate. All right, so we're gonna minus one, add mana. Pay one. So we got three mana there. We got three mana here. Oh my gosh, we really did it. We really did it. That's seven mana there. And then three more, the apex of power. I've, this better have a cool animation. I've never seen this card cast. Let's see if this has an animation. Whoa, all right, that's that's all right. I'll take it. Better than nothing. All right, so I guess we had two lands and then these cards. So we have 10, so we have 11 mana. I mean, I guess I just immolating Inferno. I guess we could shock. So we have 10 mana. All right, pretty cool. The regulator can only double Chandra uh, Planeswalker activations, not Jaya. All right, so they're down to 10. All right. <clears throat> so we're going to be able to uh, ultimate Jaya, not this turn, but next turn. Because that, that we're going to be able to get the minus 8 to get the emblem. So that we can cast instants and sorceries from our graveyard. So then we could cast the Apex of Power again from our graveyard. We did it! We did the thing! We cast Apex of Power! Okay, you refreshed. It didn't. It didn't send it anything. All right, let me. Sorry, I was busy there. Let me check on my end. Let me see if I got anything over here. Nope, doesn't show up. All right. I'll probably show you show up like the next time you're on like a desktop, but. Um. Yeah, you got. Yeah, you got the emotes and everything. Let's see. We're going to. I'll get the notification going by. Just one of our other subs today. I can redo it. another one there. So there we go. That's for Angry Ben. Oh yeah, I guess I guess recasting Apex of Power from the graveyard doesn't really help, does it? Because it has to be cast from hand to add ten mana. So you'd have to have just more mana to cast your other things. Oh well, at least we could we could have immolating Inferno'd. From the graveyard, so that would have been good enough. Oh no, Jack Dilly, you missed it. No, we actually did the thing. So success. Whether we win or lose this, I'm I'm just gonna have it up there still as O2 because you know this was just a, a friendly. But have to say success. We did the thing. And of course, I boarded out a land in that game. And the, so, like, the game that I boarded out a land, that's whenever we cast our 10 mana sorcery. Oh. 
Ooh, did anybody clip it? So I'm thinking I should maybe just flame sweep right now before they untap and have a counter spell. No. I don't need to be I don't need to be that worried about a counter spell. Bad. Imperion Eagle. No birds. No birds allowed. So draw a land, we can go Jaya, then we can tick up and fight with fire or flame sweep. Can we do it again? We need to draw three more lands. I wish Apex of Power had some some kind of really cool flavor text on it. It certainly looks like a card that should have some cool flavor text on it. Time to set something on fire. Do you doubt a master's strategy? Um Yeah, like some something about like the story of like whatever Nicol Bolas is doing over there. No. Well, I'm going home. Wow, the opponents decide to be really rude. Just taking all my planeswalkers. Um, that thing's kind of big. I guess I could have waited. See if, I mean, they would have attacked first. So we would have had to take a hit, but then could have got like a, another fairy miscreant. We don't really need to though. We got, we got a backup flame sweep in a Chandra. Yeah, we... We cast Apex of Power last game. Opponents casting Safara this game. It's easier to kill seven toughness stuff on turn seven. It's the turn five. Or, sorry, the turn three. It's the turn three Rotting Regisaur that's impossible to deal with. Oh, yes. This will do nicely. Jai has a cool little animation there. Yay, land drop. So we just need one more land? Right? Yeah, we just need to top deck a land here. That would be land number seven. No, stop. Nice work out stop. there. Started a sizzle and see if you make it to the inferno. Oh, do they have the the plus two plus two thing? Glad I can help with your not being Maybe not. fire problem. All right, so we need to draw three more lands now. 
We would have hit the land too. We would have had it with Jaya in play there. Uh, guess I have to tick up on Chandra and start the clock. <clears throat> okay, good. Two more lands. Hope it's not too hot for you. I don't really even like starting a clock though, because I want to cast this Apex of Power. So I don't want my opponent to concede. Just want to cast this card. I feel like they have, was it winged words? Kind of feels like that's their last card in hand. Otterly is the best way to destroy All right, things. still need two more lands. Drew a dead card here. Rally of wings, that's, that's, the, that's the one, yeah, rally of wings, not winged words. Winged words is that one. Rally of wings, that's the one that feels like they have. Land? Okay, one, one away, one away. Come on, don't concede, don't concede. Isn't Draw another Tribunal, get rid of the Chandra. A little warm in here. This Tribunal, this thing. Would it be bad form if I didn't tick up on Chandra? Come on, deck, give me that land. Awesome. All right, here we go. All right, y'all ready? The Apex of Power. Hard cast and Apex. Pretty sweet. Alright, well we got some removal spells we can't use. We get to double emblem now. Extra mana. I will. Yes, I will pay one. <laughs> Ten oh, mana, Chandra's regulator. Let's get toasty. All right, well, that was cool. We got to play it twice. The reason not to cast Flame Sweep is because they could have had end step uh, the Siren Pirate, whatever the name of the Siren Pirate is. I will defend the weak. They could have the Siren Pirate at end step, and then we would be able to Flame Sweep still. I guess I, I guess we had we, no, we had other instant speed removal. Yeah, I should have cast the Flame Sweep. Oh, plus Your that mana goes away with stages. It's, it's not like never mind, never mind, never mind. Everything I was saying. All right, where's another Apex of Power? Oh, I only have one in the deck. Do we have anything else cool in this deck? Wow. Yeah, we do. All right, so we got Jaya's Immolating Inferno for eight. Eight damage to three different targets. Up to three, we'll choose Gideon and Teferi. And there we go. All right. Well, that was fun. We did it. I'm glad. Yeah, I'm glad we played that one extra one. Glad we played the extra one. Do y'all think I should keep it as, as O2 because that's what our league went? Or should I, should I write, should I put it a one over here and put one two? Hey, three man. Welcome back from the gym. All right, so there's our Inferno of Power deck. Um, not sure if, if like the regulator, the regulator was just fine, but uh, Treasure Map's pretty good too. So not sure if this was actually better than Treasure Map. Um, treasure Map would have 
been pretty good too. But we didn't get to do we didn't do Sunbirds Invocation, but that's fine. But you know, we played against three aggressive decks. Well, no, well a combo deck, which is kind of like an aggressive deck, but a combo deck and two aggressive decks. All right, so it looks like y'all want to say O2. Okay, <laughs> five R five O in our hearts, though. But yeah, we got to Apex of Power, so that's that was the goal of the deck. Play the ten mana sorcery. We got to do it twice, and we won those two games. It did, it did basically nothing both times we played it, but <laughs> it had it had a. Uh, we now know what the Apex of Power um, animation looks like. It did have an animation, and so we got to see that. That was kind of about it. Um, they can make it 1-2. Yeah. All right, but yeah, when it works, it works. All right, so that's Inferno of Power. So if you're watching it later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed us uh, having some fun there and getting to cast Apex of Power. And uh, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. And also let me know what uh, other cards, what other rares and mythics, like cards like Jaya's Immolating Inferno and Apex of Power and Jaya Ballard. What else do you want me to build around here for these Throwback Thursdays? Let me know in the comments over there. But thanks for watching Inferno of Power, and I'll see you for the next video.